Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Democracy 3 with me, Alpha P. Omega. Now the most requested country after Poland is, quite, quite interestingly, Mexico. So we're going to play some Mexico and get assassinated or <laughs> murdered or voted against by the people of Mexico. So Mexico is a federal republic in North America. Declaring independence in 1810, Mexico has undergone a rapid industrialization during the late 20th century. Since 2006, the government has fought a war against international drug cartels, taking a toll of more than 100,000 deaths. The nation also struggles against corruption, obesity, homelessness, and tension between the mestizo majority and indigenous minorities. Population of Mexico is 118 million people. Its size is almost 2 million square kilometers. Life expectancy 75 years. Gini is 48. GDP per capita is 10,900 uh, US dollars. Oil production is 3.7 million barrels a day, which is the sixth in the world, wow, ethnicity is 65% mestizo, religion, catholic, 83%, world heritage sites, 32, which is, wow, world 6, so many things that I don't know about Mexico, obesity rate, 33%, and police officers, 544,000, which is number 3 in the world, cool. So, we are going to play Mexico, oh, and I forgot to roll, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I rolled 23, which is the People's Movement. I think, yeah, it's here. Uh, term length is not set, which is a bit weird, but I believe that makes it uh, either f 6 or 7 years. Uh, yeah, probably. When I, when I don't change it, it should be uh, set correctly. Our <laughs> people's movement against people's smart. You know what? We're gonna be against um, people's the reform party. Okay, we're gonna be against uh, reform party. No term limit. Uh, hurricanes, earthquakes. That's okay. Difficulty up to two hundred percent as always. And here we go. I'm really interested what Mexico is going to be like. Congratulations on your election victory. Oh, that's a nice background. Though the Mexican flag is not really bad either. Uh, quite high unemployment, uh, quite low crime on the other hand. Health, not really that good. Education in the middle, poverty the same way. GDP, really bad. So, 29 political capital, income of 1, wow, 1 trillion US dollars. Expenditures, 1.6 trillion US dollars, great which puts us on deficit of 626 billion per quarter, debt 8.5 trillion, holy crap. Global economy very high, our GDP is very low. Our biggest income comes from government borrowing, how awesome is that? Most foreign, we got foreign investor tax break and they don't even work for us, that's horrifying uh let's look at gdp i really wonder why it's so low it's in an all-time low general strike <laughs> great so we got the general strike we got also skills shortage that is awesome we got homelessness and pollution and we got police brutality that's interesting no crime problems though that's that's really interesting i think that's a Mistake. Drug addiction, very high. Obesity, very high. We got dementia raging on and asthma epidemic. Yeah, the environment is hurting us. Though, look at that. Nobody really hates us. I think that's really good start. So, we should do what we did last time and, and just chill, you know. Just chill. General strike needs to go, though. Poor earnings. Wages are on an all-time low. Currency strength is very low because of the GDP. It's a vicious cycle. Skills shortage. What a skill shortage effect. Education. Well, this is general strength needs to go. 
uh, it's just the poor earnings. We need to make these a bit higher. Child benefits help. Pre preschool meals help. Okay, I'm gonna go and increase this thing quite massively. I also think we should pass basic income. It's gonna help a lot. Yeah, poor earnings. Just look at that. Middle earnings, liberal and poor. Are you joking, game? Is this a joke to you? Is that just really a huge joke? I'm gonna go with say a hundred million billion hundred billion oh my god and it's not going to help at all as i thought it would but ah, game you never fail to make me happy okay now time to get rid of some of those uh, terrible terrible things that are plaguing us uh where is adult education subsidies yeah we got it even selected 11 billion but it's gonna help a lot is that all really really hmm. let's just pass the national business council and it's a long-term thing and it's going to help so let's see who murders us this time debt protection law mm, limit agencies activities budget deficit <laughs> 749 billion only nine percent of people would vote for me but Poverty is going down. General strike. People seem in favor of ending it. Uh, so what else could we do now? Uh, I could go with compulsory work for the unemployed. How bad is unemployment? Very bad. So I think that's the right way to go. It's going to piss off liberals, I think. But uh, GDP increased. Poor will hate it. Capitalists will like it, middle income will like it. Okay, let's pass it. And healthy eating campaign. Anything else that I could do? Business startup campaign. Increases self employed capital. Socialism goes down. Okay, that's about it for me. Uh, budget's still awful. 19% of people would vote for me now. Outlaw begging. Um, let's allow it. I'm not really that unhappy about it. Okay, seems like things are looking fine. Okay, we need to increase poor earnings more or the general strike will never go away. And general strike is what's keeping us down now. Green Electronics Initiative. Is there like um, minimal pay? Sure, there isn't. Retirement age, state up, rent controls. Okay, we'll have to go um, a different way. Rural Development Tax Grants. That would help a bit. But not by much. Preschool, state schools, food stamps. I don't want Barrow to do anything, but it's cheap. So let's do it. Mm, what else? Wages, private housing. Basic income helped. Unemployment benefit, food stamps, basic income. Preschool meals are on the max. This is not really going all the way I would like it to. Unemployment. We could do something with unemployment here. Tourism, private schools, road building, military supply. Agricultural subsidies, foreign relations. This one generally lowers obesity and what about poverty? Lowers food price. I think food price is generally linked to poverty, though I mean, we just food, 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 food price. 
food stamps? Not really, no. It's a bit weird. Uh, I guess we should try to... God damn it, I, I can't do anything unless we get rid of this. Just fucking hell. Uh, child benefits. Poor earnings. Uh, this this is hardly worth it. Poor earnings. Rural development grants. Okay, if we did this one, we would have ten more available. Food stamps. Mm, benefits. Uh, I guess we could do this one. Increase it to a hundred billion. Capital is hated. Lowers homelessness greatly though. And lowers poverty. Implementation delay is one. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. I don't think we can work on the... What did I want it to do? What did I want it to do? Oh, the development grants. Yeah, I can't anymore. So next turn. Next turn! And for now, I could um, slightly increase the health. So, the program, stamp on racism. Actually, stamp, how's our... The game mentioned that there were high ethnic tensions. Yeah, so let's take though. Man, we got so much to do and so little to enjoy. Drug was a problem too. Obesity is not going away. Junk food tax is lowering it. We got the health food eating campaign. Mexican demography, what? Is that like a modded in thing? <laughs> Mexican demography, what is that? I don't even see it. Working week, no, not really. My nurse. The environment. I have absolutely no idea what it is. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, I lost it. Where was it? Ethnic minorities. Racial tensions. Oh, never mind. Just forget about it. We'll encounter it eventually. Uh, I'd still like to... There was another thing we could do with... Here, health eating substance. Oh, that's gonna have the poor earnings as well. Lowers obesity greatly. How about the skills shortage though? Yeah, it's getting... A bit better. Adult education subsidies. I could pass on the public libraries too, I think, at this point. Then the program. Oh, I actually couldn't, but let's pass on this one. Generally gonna help. We're just spending left and right, and the economy is just. Oh, God. 14% of people would vote for me. Sweatshop scandal. Everybody's pissed. The wildlife trust on the pollution thingy. Okay, just a bit more. Just a bit more, please. Just a bit more. But I think we are we're gonna get rid of it at this point anyway. Public libraries. Education retired. Lowers dementia. Education is important. Let's let's just go with it. What about taxes though? <laughs> Oh god. Punitive tax. Enterprise investment scheme is a good one. Mm, let's get it. Socialism, self employed GDP capitalists. High earnings. Okay. That one is good. And I think we need to lower. We, we can. We already are really 
low on this small mod. Deficit is just out of hand completed, but it's the freaking GDP. It's just the freaking GDP. Technology grants. Let's do this one. It's gonna help a bit. I'm gonna go with 15 billion. Make sure it was bad of 25. We're going maximum. Let's go with maximum. We're going ape shit anyway, so why the hell be afraid? Uh, Good boy economy is doing okay. We got budget deficit of incredibleness, pop support, seventeen percent of people, and we got cartoon crisis. We're gonna defend the cartoons. 